happy Friday and welcome to Unity Worship. We're so happy to have everyone here join us today. And today we're uplifting the Human Performance Department, which is also known as Human Resources, and it includes employee health and our talent acquisition team. And it's a real special treat for me because I belong to the Human Performance Team. And this team, we're responsible for making sure the hospital complies with regulations and keeping administration, working with administration and the associates to make sure everything runs smoothly. And so today we want to lift the human performance team, which is all the employee health and talent acquisition team in prayer. I ask you to bow your heads with me. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for helping us get through this very busy work week. And today we want to lift up to you our human performance team, employee health, talent acquisition team, and we ask that you be with our director, Abby Her Herrera Williams, and help this team, help this department as we provide guidance and knowledge and wisdom. And we ask that you give it to us so that we can help the departments here in this hospital and that everything can run smoothly. We ask the same for all the rest of the associates of White Memorial that work for this hospital. And we ask all these things in your precious name. Amen. I would like to invite anyone, everyone who knows this song, come join me. Hello everyone, 
I'm Nancy Payne, and I work in the Human Performance Department. And I so love that song. And the reminder, um, it was so beautiful, thank you. And the reminder that we are children of God and how much God loves us and that he can do for us what we cannot do for ourselves. Years ago, when my son was really sick, I tried so hard to help him. There wasn't a penny I didn't spend, a prayer I didn't say, a sleepless night I didn't have, but it wasn't working. Then a friend told me that God loved my son, Anthony, even more than I did. I know it's hard to believe, he said, but he does. And for the first time in a long time, I felt like I could breathe. What my friend was trying to tell me was that once I had done everything that I possibly, that I humanly could do, I needed to trust God. I'd been so caught up in my own worry and profound sadness that I tried to go it alone. I tried to do it by myself, with, my, with only my human ability. I had forgotten that God could do for me and for Anthony what I could not. For the first time in months, I, f I felt some peace. When I would start trying, when I would start feeling myself worry again, I would envision Anthony walking across a tightrope across Niagara Falls. The wind was blowing, the rope was swaying, and it looked like Anthony was going to fall. But then I would see God's immense, loving hands below Anthony, so that if he did fall, God would catch him. I couldn't reach him. He was, too, he was too high. He was too far away. I couldn't help him, but I could have peace because God was there, and he loved my son even more than I did. This was quite a few years ago, and I am so far from perfect and still slip into worry every now and then, but I can promise you that all we need is a willingness a willingness to believe that God will do for us and for everyone we love what we cannot do for ourselves, and that he loves us more than we can humanly understand. With, with willingness that's as small as a mustard seed, God will move mountains. He parted the Red Sea, he rose Jesus from the dead, and he will do the same for us. God gave each of us a brilliant heart, a brilliant mind, body, and spirit, and he calls upon us every day to do everything within our power, using all of the talents that he has given us to be the best we can be every day. And once we have done everything within our power, he calls upon us to trust him to take over. God is all love, and everything he does is love. In scripture, Paul reminded the Ephesians that God is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us. So I want to ask you a favor. I want to ask you to make a commitment to yourself and to God, and to make it a really solid commitment. I want to ask you to write it down if you can. Write, write this message. Over the next week, dear Lord, I will do my best in everything. And when I can do no more, I promise I will trust you, Lord, to do for me what I cannot do. And I believe that you love me and everyone I love and that you will take care of us always. I'm going to say that once again so that you can really write it down. Dear Lord, over the next week, I will do my best in everything. And when I can do no more, I promise I will trust you, God, to do for me what I cannot do. And I believe that you love me and everyone I love, and that you will take care of us always. Let's bow our heads. Dear Lord, you've given us beautiful hearts and brilliant minds, bodies, and spirits. Please help us always to do our best. Please help us always to keep our hearts and minds open to you so that you can put your feelings in our hearts, your words in our mouths, your thoughts in our minds, and your actions in our bodies. And when we have done our best, dear Lord, 
please help us always to trust that you love us more than we can humanly understand. You love everyone we love even more than we do. And you will always do for us what we cannot do for ourselves. Amen. White Memorial family, on behalf of the Human Performance, Employee Health, and Talent Acquisition teams, we want to thank you for allowing us to worship with you. May the Lord bless and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine on you and gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Amen. Have a wonderful week. See you next time.